Hi everyone and welcome back to the Braves training series. I'm alongside here my good friend Marvin Freeman that's been working with us on our pitching stance and now we're going to go into something a little bit uh, kind of digging down a little bit deeper and we're going to talk about leg drive and we're going to talk about cadence and rhythm as it as it relates to that. So Marvin let's keep going. All right okay a lot of times people ask me coach how do I use my legs? So the main thing I want to present is how to get into your back leg drive without getting top heavy or, le or leading with this shoulder here. So you want to feel like when you're lifting this front leg up, all your weight is into the back leg so that you can sink down and move forward at the same rate of speed. Now, if you get a little bit ahead of yourself where your front shoulder is leading you, then you're not able to use your back leg. So you want to feel like as I'm lowering myself, my back leg is starting to push me forward. Now I can drive out of that into a landing leg that's going to allow me to get more extension and get over my front side and create more momentum as I drive through ball release. So it kind of looks like this. You're going up, down and driving, finishing, and then following through. That way you can utilize the mound, you can create more leverage, you can get more momentum to the plate, and you can have better leg drive to help aid in your arm. The second part of, of the, deliver, the delivery is knowing when your hands need to break, what kind of timing and rhythm you need to create to create that leverage off your back leg and have everything in sync. So what I like to use is an example that one part of the body is going to affect the next part. So when I'm starting down and I start going down in my delivery, that's when my hands start down. My hands start down when my leg starts to load. As I'm starting down to load, my front leg and my glove goes together. Once that all goes together, now I got leverage to create power down through my release. So the main thing you want to make sure you're following is that when you're starting to go to the plate, you're not leaning forward. All of your weight, if you had a string hanging down from your nose, that string will remain behind your belt buckle or you can create this type of trunk tilt into foot strike. That avoids you from getting here where you get an early rotation, you're getting your arm up too soon, and then everything goes into the arm. So we're trying to use the entire body and not just the arm. So you want to sink down, stay back, drive down, and follow through. That's how you get the leg drive that's going to help you continue to be strong on the mound. Appreciate that, Marvin. All right, my pleasure. That's, a, that's some complicated stuff. Yeah, you know, but the main thing is when you get the repetitions in, when you practice on your own, you kind of get a better feel of how your body works. And that's the only way you can figure this thing out pitching, trial and error. Because if you don't try it, you're going to make a lot of errors. That's right. That's right. And you got to practice. So we've been talking about that. So uh, if you've enjoyed this instruction, please check out our other videos on Braves.com.